Hello everyone, today we're going to be reviewing the circumferential and longitudinal side beam welder that we put together. Uh, this is actually a custom piece that a customer of ours had built for their own operations, which we had purchased from them. Uh, and then this is our retrofit following a customer desiring this piece. As you can see here on the controls, starting from the top left going to the bottom right, we have our power on button, our carriage direction, which we can move the carriage forward or reverse. We have the ability to choose between circumferential or longitudinal welding for automated mode. We can move the turning rolls independently by going forward or reverse. There is the ability to do a dry run by turning the weld switch to off or when you're ready to do automated welding, leaving it in the on position. We have our carriage speed that we can set independently of our rotation speed. And then we also have a travel start delay at the beginning so we can establish our puddle. In the third row, you can see our auto manual switch. This allows us the ability to manually make adjustments or weld as also being able to turn it into auto and by hitting the start button starting both our welding and our travel depending if we've selected longitudinal or circumferential. Next you see the carriage lock and unlock. The rack pinion system of the carriage is actually operated by an air actuator and we have the ability to engage or disengage that remotely from the operator station. Next you see the flux recovery has the ability of being set to on, off, or auto. And then the furthest button on the right side is the rapid button for the turning rolls. In the last row you'll notice a joystick and this, goes, this allows us to control the vertical height adjustment as well as the center line adjustment of the cross slides extending from the carriage and then you'll see our start sequence, stop sequence, and emergency stop there featured in the bottom row as well.